to race today at event one of glass car the sunstorm grand prix may I remind you to check out the marble sports worldwide podcast a podcast that will cover all aspects of this race on the weekly show and all other fubeca races in the future look it up on youtube marble sports worldwide podcast also don't forget of course to subscribe to fubeca for more content rainforest in the poles, sitter position, followed by Penguin, Canarium, Nitro, Ivory in the top five. And in the bottom two, Volcano and Dragon's Tail. Take a look at those top five and the bottom two during the race. See if a comeback story will mount. Or if those top five will struggle a little bit facing the other elite competitors below them. Panning over these marbles, they all look ready to race. Poised, composed. At the start, first race of glass car. All the officials lined up as well as the fans and the trainers. Nervous but excited for the inaugural race of glass car. The lights are all on and we are rolling Rainforest out to the right side immediately and Canarium will jump to the lead already. Hitting those guidelines, so moving out there, and let's take a look at Ivory now at first place. Nitro just behind as they go up through the self-propulsion system for the first time. These guidelines here, pieces of foam kind of messing with the marbles a little bit, moving them around. Nitro into the lead, and look at Volcano already starting in 11th place, and he has jumped up to second place. Youngest competitor in glass car this year, a rookie. Certainly showing that he's here to race. Ivory moving around. A collision there with Nitro. Has the lead. Nitro trying to push back on the left side. No movement there. Just take a look at Volcano moving behind Nitro. Drafting, gaining some speed. And Ivory's losing some speed. Now uh, Volcano here to the left side. And now going to move past. Grab the lead here in lap 3. 20 laps on this circuit. Volcano has established a huge lead. Nitro and Ivory both slowing down. After that collision with him, he's going around the hairpin through the chicane, trying to maintain the gap he has. Behind Ivory, we have Penguin moving, as well as Rattlesnake. Trying to make their way up into the top three. And do well for their nation here in the first race of Glass Car. Volcano holding that lead. Nitro trying to move back in front, taken to the left sides, got him! Around the outside of the curve, and Nitro is going to move back into first place. Ivory falling back, back, but you see Rattlesnake now up into fourth place as well, working his way up, started in seventh place. But you look at Rainforest all the way down in seventh after starting in that pole position, as he hesitated to move off to the right side at the start. Nitro still holding fast in the front. Volcano, the rookie, doing the best he can to weave through the chicanes. But he's getting hung up on the side a lot, losing a lot of speed here on these final curves on each of the lap. Lap 6 we're in now. And these guidelines certainly sticking out a bunch, really messing with these marble speed and pulling on their agility to win the day here. See Angel all the way down in 12th place right now. That's not where she wants to be. But... She's very composed on the course. I think she's good. Oh, look at that. As I say that, jumps up into 8th place. Look at that. Angel up into 8th from 12th. And now we're going to leave Dragon's Tail down at the bottom. He started at the bottom. He's still at the bottom. No challenge mounted from him at all yet. We'll have to see how the rest of this race goes. Look at that volcano weaving around Ivory. Agility on the course is wonderful here. Volcano on that left lane. Taking the outside line. And staying in front. Dragon's Tail. Up into 11th place as Black Shadow now takes that last place spot. Ivory on Volcano's Tail. Drafting for some speed. 
but is not going to get around him. Look at Volcano moving around Nitro as he hesitates at the guideline, and Volcano is going to grab that top spot. Look at Ivory with some collisions there around the outside curve trying to catch up the volcano but every time she moves volcano moves in front another cutoff from volcano and it's not going to happen ivory now left behind a few inches there as volcano not only aware of what's going on in front of him but also the movement behind him that's how he stays in front of ivory here moving in front of him or cutting her off and dubbing her momentum ivory now battling with Nitro, having some trouble with Nitro, look at that right there. Overtakes her on the inside line of that curve. Nitro has not given up yet. Now Rockslide the veteran up into fourth place. Good to see him there. Rainforest also making some moves back. Volcano dropping back into third place. With Nitro now re-establishing the lead. It's been a battle between these three, but Rockslide says, let me get in on this action. As he's uh, hot on their tail. Up into fourth place here. Look at some movement there from Rainforest. Rattlesnake. Really knocking into him there. Some aggressive movements from Rattlesnake. He's going to stay in front of Rainforest for the moment. Nitro holding that top spot as Rockslide up into second place. Slow and steady. Rockslide is overtaking each of these competitors. Ivory is not catching up. Ooh, hit off that guideline. Both marbles do though. And it's the same distance. Volcano, the rookie, has dropped back a little bit. Only lap 12, so still plenty of room for him to move right now. See how that speed moves. Look at Volcano moving back and forth through those chicanes. Weaving very, very skillfully. We will see how he approaches these top three. It's going to be hard to get past all three of these marbles to get to the top. But if there's anyone up to the challenge, it's the rookie Volcano. Not much movement from his rival Pacifica, who's back in 10th place, staying in front of Dragon's Tail and Black Shadow at best. And look at that volcano moving around Rockslide as Rockslide slows down on the one guideline there, taking advantage of all the mistakes these other marbles are making. Volcano is one of the most aware marbles on the track so far. Certainly some mistakes here and there, but you can't blame him. With these elite competitors, there's no way you can be perfect every time. But well, Volcano was certainly able to capitalize on the bad movements of other teammates, um, of other racers. And almost did it there with Ivory, but Ivory straightened herself out. Holding to that left lane now. I, uh, Volcano looking on the inside line, trying to stay in front of Rockslide. Not the easiest movement for him. Rattlesnake, you see there. Trying to catch up there back there in six. Rainforest had overtaken him. Oh, look at that. Rockslide making a move for Nitro. Around the outside line. Nitro cutting on the inside. And he's going to stay in front. A tough movement there. Oh, these marbles are still holding all their speed. A lot of energy today. Race won a glass car. Nitro. What a surprise, out in front, yes, about speed, but usually the reckless racing can get him in trouble. But he's really holding them off right now. He's smarting it up for this race. Ivory has moved up into second. Volcano, now jumped past Rockslide, into third. Off the barrier there. Volcano pinballing back and forth between those guidelines. And it is all Nitro's race right now. Ivory is doing everything she can to catch up, but it is not happening. Nitro had a couple of hiccups during the race so far, but as we head into lap 18, it is straightened out in his favor. And first place belongs to Nitro. Take a look, you see Rockslide now back in the sixth place. Dragon's Tail and Penguin now at the bottom. Not good looks for them for their first race. Look at that Rattlesnake moving up into fourth place. Some moves from him. And Ivory is slipping away at this point. Lap 19 and Ivory's down into fifth place. She was up in second for most of the race, but now Rattlesnake is making his moves. Moving around Rainforest. Now moving around Volcano as he shoots up the self-propulsion system. It is Rattlesnake to try to challenge Nitro. Out of nowhere, he works his way up right at the end and there's one lap to go. Rattlesnake is the only one who seems to have the chance to put an end to Nitro's reign. 
Ivory has dropped back to six. A tough look for her. Volcano followed by Rock Slide and Rainforest here in the three, four, five spots. Nitro in the lead still. Rattlesnake, second place. The gap is huge. I think it's too much. And Nitro with a final bump off the barrier comes across the finish line in first place. Nitro is your victor for Glass Car Race Run. Rattlesnake follows just behind, followed by the veteran Rock Slide. Volcano, the rookie, a decent performance landing in fourth. Rainforest. Does decent for his pole position in fifth. Ivory in sixth. Angel was able to jump back up to seventh. Canarium, Black Shadow Pacifica, Dragon's Tail, and unfortunately for Penguin, last place in the first race, the Sunstorm Grand Prix. Unfortunate finish, but for Nitro, a celebratory night as well as Rattlesnake. Great finishes for them. A good comeback from Rattlesnake who shot up into the end at the end. Shot up into second place in the last lap, the last couple of laps. And Volcano had the fastest lap in this race as well with a time of 24.112. Certainly the rookie was moving it quick for most of the race, but eventually tired out a little bit and could not keep up with Nitro the whole time. Next event is Sunstorm Circuit 2 next week. Join us then. See how this race continues to unfold. Take a quick look at some of the replays. Look at the start. See how Rainforest immediately rolled off to the right side there and already let Marbles in front. Canarium had the lead at first, but the slew of Marbles behind him just overwhelmed him immediately. And he got stuck back in the pack there for most of the race. Ivory, who came out of the chaos in the lead, held that top spot and battled with Nitro for most of this race. But it really is the end of the race that matters. The finish is the most important part. And Ivory was not able to stay up there with Nitro to the last few laps. Got a good look at Volcano as well, the rookie this season. Youngest competitor. Having some times with first place, as well as some good collisions, and his awareness on the track was masterful. Some good plays against Ivory there to stay in front. And you see that he will be a competitor to contend with. Pacifica, the rival, is not really showing much in the way of the speed he's supposed to have. But looking at the podium here for the first race, Nitro in first, Rattlesnake second, and again, Rock Slide in third. You ask fans of Dragon's Tale at this point how they felt going into race two of the Sunstorm GP. Their answer would be nothing less than dissatisfied. But with Dragon's Tail starting in sixth for this race, hopefully their answer will change by the end. Angel will be our pole sitter today, followed by Black Shadow and Ivory. Nitro, the winner of the first Grand Prix here in Glasscar, is pulling up in seventh to start. Certainly jumbled up the place starting in this race. Very different from race one. I couldn't tell you who will take the victory today. Certainly, it's a jumble. Of course, two sectors today. Couple of 90s, then hit that self-propulsion system, shooting up into that second sector, which kind of has a back and forth look to it. Two hairpins, and in between, a bunch of very slight but dirty curves that really mess with these marbles' speed and momentum. We'll see how they handle it. The lights have all lit up, and we are rolling Angel, moving to the right out of the pole sitter position in Black Shadow. Couple collisions there as they head to the self-propulsion system here in lap one. 27 laps today will account for race two of the Sunstorm GP. Ivory has darted into the lead as we head through lap one. Coming around to that starting gate for the first time. And it is Ivory, Black Shadow right behind, and I think that's Nitro up there in third place. Very good starting for him. And he's all the way up into second. Are we gonna see another run from this competitor? This speed, hungry competitor. Penguin has also darkened the top three. 
but not before Rattlesnake has something to say about it as he moves around him and grabs third place here in lap two. And lap three is coming up here. Let's take a look at Angel, who has dropped back to ninth already. Not the kind of performance that the fans of Angel were expecting, especially after that very fast qualifying lap that she gave. Volcano also suffering down in 12th place. But eyes are really on Dragon's Tail right now. He's in 6th right now overall. Holding that position, so far no changes in his placement really since the beginning of the race. Oh look at that Rattlesnake darting around. Nitro in Pacifico, oh hit from behind from Penguin and Nitro is actually going to be shot forward but it's certainly he's going to be out of short swords from that. Hopefully no concussions will ensue on the field. Nitro moving on the inside line around Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail has jumped into third place now. Will Dragon's Tail be able to turn around from his first performance in race one and come back with a solid win here in race two or at least a top three? Right now it's looking good for him as he is holding that third place position right now. Back in the pack there, Penguin drops down a couple of places as Angel slams into him from behind. And Black Shadow, who started in second overall, is now taking up residence in last place. But these marbles have all the speed they need. Those attenuators which have been removed for this race have certainly allowed the marbles more space to move around and gain some more speed and keep things moving along in the race. Those 27 laps will go by so quickly with that new addition. Ivory slowing down, having trouble with those slight curves there, and Nitro keeping in front. Some collision from Ivory, but it only helped Nitro out. You can't let your anger get to you on the course. I know when you get past on the course, your first inclination is let me slam into that racer and knock him off his feet or his marble, you could say, but um, Ivory actually hampered her own situation there, but she recovers back in front, and Volcano out of nowhere is now back at the top. We're seeing a similar situation as saw back in the first race. Ivory, Volcano, Nitro, Rattlesnake all at the top. Canarium making a jaunt up there as well. And Pacifica starting to drop down. Rock Slide, funny enough, moving his way up. Maybe to balance out that top four as we saw in the previous race. Will it really be four or five marbles dominating the races this time? Black Shadow is down at the bottom, and so is Angel and Penguin, as per before. But Dragon's Tail, moving up a bunch of places there, is going to try to say something about that. Volcano is holding that lead above Ivory. And he's moving to the left side around the longer curve. Not really staying towards the inside lane. Maybe more speed is coming from him there. But Rattlesnake, a couple aggressive moves around Ivory. He's going to grab second place and going to try to put a challenge on Volcano. Ivory moving around the outside line, trying to hit Rattlesnake from behind. Rattlesnake now does that to Volcano, hitting him from behind and moving ahead through the propulsion system. How does it come out? Rattlesnake in the lead. Volcano slowing down to a crawl here. Ivory. But look at Dragon's Tail threading the needle between Ivory as she moves back and forth through those curves and through Volcano, taking the inside line. Volcano tries to slam into him from the side, grabs back the lead momentarily. Dragon's Tail, a good move on the inside there, held the lead for a second, but is now slowed down by that outside curve, and Volcano will run away with it here for a moment. Dragon's Tail. Certainly a new performance here. The fans of Dragon's Tail are really on the edge of their seat here as he moves back and forth, sometimes up there into second place, now back into fifth. Will he emerge victorious here? You can see Black Shadow and Rock Slide battling it a little bit there. Not really much speed coming from them at the moment. And Penguin lagging behind in 12th place momentarily. Rattlesnake at the top now. Volcano right behind him. Ivory, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail. Round out that top five. 
Eyes are really in Dragon's Tail as Ivory runs into second place here. Is Dragon's Tail going to be able to hold his positions as Rockside comes right up behind him? Or is he going to let the other marble scare him? You see Volcano jump over that attenuator there as he crossed the line. I don't know if that helped him a lot, but it certainly is now running right up on Ivory's tail. But he bounces through those couple of curves and is now going to struggle. Ivory now moving around Rattlesnake on the outside line. Sometimes that outside line has proven to give more speed to these marbles. And you saw it there. As Rattlesnake struggled to stay in front of Ivory there and did not through the end of that lap. We are heading into lap 20 and Ivory is our leader. Rattlesnake certainly not given up by any stretch of the imagination. You can see he's a little bit bouncy right now. When he straightens himself out, he is a true marble to contend with out there on the course. Pacifica has now made an appearance in the top four. Oh, a ram from Nitro into Pacifica has only shot him above Volcano here. Marbles need to watch their collisions out on the course. Collisions are fine. Collisions are great. And there's been an accident evolving Penguin. I'm not really sure what's happening with him. He's in the red here, and he might be out of the race. Is he out of the race? I think he might be out of the race. Are we going to get any sort of replay on that? Well, here it is. Penguin on the right side spun up and got stuck on the corner of the track. Didn't pop off. But all momentum is gone, and Penguin is out of this race. Look at him. He's just sitting there. He's become a spectator on the field. And all you can say for Angel at this point is that she will not finish in 12th. But her fans are hoping she's going to be able to rise above 11th here. But as I was saying before, collisions are amazing out on the course. But if they're used in the wrong way, you can almost push marbles that you're colliding with forward. Fastest lap seems to be with Rattlesnake right now, 19.622. And he's going to stand about 2.7 seconds ahead of Ivory. Let's refocus back on our leaders here. Rattlesnake in first place, followed by Ivory, Volcano, Rainforest, Canarium. Dragon's Tail has dropped back to eighth place. It's been a wild race for him up and down the whole time. And now he's starting to falter. Rattlesnake seems to be in the clear here, and Ivory is making some moves, but has to gain quite a bit of ground if she's going to make any challenges. On the other side of the corner here, Angel is still in trouble down in 11th place. Ivory now only 1.5 behind Rattlesnake. The gap has decreased by about a second. And Rainforest has jumped above Volcano and shown that he's here to race as well. We are into the final lap, lap 27, and Rattlesnake is your leader. Is he going to be able to hold through to the end? Rattlesnake moving around this hairpin here. Second to last hairpin, that penultimate hairpin. Bounces through those curves. The final hairpin is at hand. Around he goes, hitting the edge of that border, and comes across in first place. Ivory follows shortly, about three seconds behind. Rainforest, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, Canarium, Rock Slide, Black Shadow. See Rattlesnake taking his victory lap there. And Angel and Dragon's Tail follow suit. Dragon's Tail, unfortunately, ended in 11th place yet again. He started decently and actually made his way up to about third, even second place for a moment, but couldn't close the door. And even Angel was able to finish above him. Rattlesnake also picks up the fastest lap here, happening in tw lap 23 with a 19.6 about. And you can see that Rattlesnake has taken over the standings. Four points above Nitro here. With two podiums so far to his name. Ivory, another solid race for her, finishing in second. And Rainforest, poking his head up into the top, finishing in third. Now's a great time for a couple of replays from the race. Take a look at these marbles as they pop out there. Angel immediately moving to the right. Another mistake as we saw from Rainforest in the first race. That pole sitter tends to dive off to the right as soon as the race begins. 
And we saw that here with Angel, who then got stuck, bounding between the marbles. Too many collisions. And she kind of lost that momentum real quickly. Ivory Nitro were the first to emerge here. The race turned too soon turned in Rattlesnake's way. Rattlesnake is one of the best racers I've ever seen in marble sports. Just the his ability to weave around other marbles. To avoid collisions. That is a great replay right there showing that. A lot of marbles in his way, but actually weaved through them instead of trying to mess up with the collisions. Collisions are helpful, but too many of them can actually dampen your own momentum. And it's not the best way to proceed when you try to get to the top. First place racers in glass car will avoid collisions and focus on moving past marbles. Again, another perfect example of Rattlesnake showing that he is the real deal. Did not even touch those two, just ran right past them like they weren't even there. And Penguin, a notable disappointment for him as he gets stuck on the end there. An unexpected change of events for Penguin, who's going to have a lot of work to do if he wants to make up time in Glass Car. But with that, the podium music begins to play, and we will see our victors upon the podium. Rattlesnake again in first, followed by Ivory in second, and Rainforest in third. To round out the podium in Race to a Glass Car. Last car takes the oval. Hello again, friends. Keanu Bitterzicki, glad to be here with you as Glass Car makes its first move onto the oval. We had our qualifications earlier, in which another pole position for Rainforest. Did you see that qualification uh, finishing standings up there? Penguin, who's finished last in each of our first two races, takes second. Maybe that's a sign of things to come on an oval for Penguin after finishing last on those two road courses. Canarium third, Pacifica fourth, Black Shadow is fifth. Rattlesnake, who is the points leader and our defending winner from our second race, will start sixth. Nitro is seventh after winning the first race. As you see, there are the championship standings. 75 points, four points the lead uh, for Rattlesnake between Nitro and Rattlesnake. And then Ivory third. Ivory, though, will start last in this field. Rainforest and Volcano round out the top five all the way down to Penguin. One note on Penguin was not initially given the 25 points for finishing last after being uh, not being able to finish that last race. That's not the case anymore. They are off, though, and we are ready to go. As they cut out to the lead here, turns one and two. It is Canarium up the propelling system around three and four and into the lead for the first lap. It is Canarium leading the pole sitter, Rainforest, and Penguin, Nitro, and Pacifica all the way back. Ivory is made up one spot right now, Volcano running last. As we quickly make our way into lap three of 32, Canarium is in the lead right now by two-tenths of a second. Rainforest running second after passing Penguin, but now Nitro has made that pass for second place. Pretty tight here in that middle of the pack. All the way back again, Volcano. All the way down in last. Three-tenths of a second now. Made up another tenth has Canarium. And so far, Canarium has run the fastest lap at 8.251. Nitro moves, or remains in second. Rattlesnake, the points leader, moves into third. Ivory starting to work their way up. And there is an accident. Rainforest. The pole sitter in trouble. Meanwhile, Rattlesnake has taken the lead. Let's look at the replay and see what happened. Oh, up and over. And you saw Ivory made some contact with that high uh, plexiglass. Ivory able to stay on the track, not the case for Rainforest. Again, they make contact. That's something you got to keep an eye on in turns three, heading into four right after you make contact with that propelling system. And a disaster for Rainforest. Moves into 12th, will not finish this race. Rattlesnake is the leader. Dragon's Tail has moved into second. Dropping back a little bit is Nitro, back to fifth now. Canarium led the early portion of this race. And Rattlesnake, the leader, has now just run the fastest lap in lap number 11 of 32. Ivory working their way up to 6th. Canarium back up to 2nd. You've got the two yellow marbles, and they make contact, and Canarium takes the lead. Up and over they go into turn 3 and 4. And now here comes Black Shadow. Black Shadow takes the lead. May have led the lap. Very tight here. Nitro takes over 3rd from Rattlesnake. The top 4 are all right there. Here comes Ivory into 5th. As they get really tight, 
Only a little more than a tenth of a second separating Black Shadow, who's in the lead. Canarium runs second. Here is Ivory all the way up to second. Ivory going to go for the lead. Arounds turn two. Here they come up into the propelling system. Arounds turn three and four. It is still Black Shadow. And now Canarium has taken over second, and Ivory makes that pass back. All the way back to Volcano in 10th, and Dragon's Tail, who was in second for a little bit, now running in 11th. Ivory has dropped back to 8th again. Now all the way to 11th. Ivory is now the last car, on, or the last, excuse me, marble on the course. Black Shadow maintaining the lead. Penguin trying to make their way back up to the front. Right now that lead is 2 tenths of a second. This is the fastest course that we have seen so far in Glass Car. Penguin who started second, is back in second. Canarium, Nitro, and Pacifica, the top five. Rattlesnake has moved all the way back to last on the course. That's 11th after leading for a little bit. Black Shadow still holding the lead. Here comes Penguin. They're coming close. A little contact. Canarium gets into the back of Penguin. May have propelled Penguin, who has finished last in each of the first two races, making a little contact, dropping back to third and now fourth as Black Shadow continues to fend off our other competitors. The lead is less than a tenth of a second. They make contact there on the back. Up and over again into turn three. In this oval that is very similar to a uh, an Indianapolis Motor Speedway style. And it has provided a lot of contact. Black Shadow still the leader. And now Canarium makes the pass on Nitro for third. Ivory drops back to fifth after taking over fourth. Black Shadow still the leader. And that's not the case anymore. Nitro takes the lead. And now it's Dragon's Tail out of nowhere, followed by Pacifica. Rattlesnake's in third. An entire switch up of the field. And Dragon's Tail, with a time of just over eight seconds, just ran the fastest lap of this race. Penguin, who was in second, has dropped all the way to 11th. Rattlesnake, who was running last for a bit, is up in third. Dragon's Tail is the leader. Ivory in second after starting last. And again, more switches. Pacifica now in second. Here comes Nitro. Canarium has been up toward the top this entire time. This is tight. Everybody hanging in there. It is Pacifica now taking the lead for the first time. Only two more to go. They come around turn four. Pacifica will take the white flag. And here we go. Side by side. Dragon's Tail into the lead. Up into turns three and four. Let's see what happens at the line. It will be... Angel out of nowhere! Black Shadow takes second. It was Pacifica and Dragon's Tail that went to the white flag in the lead. They will finish fifth and sixth. And Angel with a redemption story after taking the pole and finishing 10th in our last race. They gain eight spots, winning it by only 12 thousandths of a second. Unbelievably close. Black Shadow second, Volcano, Penguin, Dragon's Tail, the top five. Middle of the pack is Pacifica, and then Nitro in seventh. And on back from there, as you see the updated standings, it is a two-point lead now for Rattlesnake, who loses two points. Fastest lap of this race belonged to Dragon's Tail, who runs 11th in the standings, only one point ahead of Penguin. But as far as that goes, for the standings, it is Rattlesnake with 103 points, 101 back to Nitro, and 100 points for Volcano, and then Angel and Ivory are the top five. Despite two poles in three races, Rainforest middle of the pack in sixth. Let's look at some of these replays. This was an incredibly tight race the entire way through. Honestly, going in, I expected there may be some lapped marbles. That was not the case. Just Rainforest, who we will see later on, unable to finish this course. And there you go again. Watch that. Rainforest came out of turn one in third or fourth. It was Canarium who started third that came out in the lead. So again, it's been a uh, not necessarily a good thing to start on the pole. Fast forward to lap six here. And now lap seven. That is where disaster struck off the course. Severe damage for Rainforest, who will finish last, and that really hurts their chances. Rattlesnake and Dragon's Tail were up for a bit. There was a ton of uh, shuffling in this pack. Whether that was Rattlesnake in the lead, Canarium was up at the top for the most part. You had Ivory going from first to last and back again. As there was a ton of passing on this course. Uh, a very impressive, very exciting race, I would say. Black Shadow had the lead for a while. As you can see it there. 
and then things got real wild in a hurry towards the end of this race. Here it is, the final turn. Dragon's Tail went in with the lead, then it was Black Shadow, and out of nowhere, Angel comes across the line by less than a hundredth of a second. Let's have another look at the photo finish. Incredibly tight. There it is, perfect camera work to show you 12 thousandths of a second. One more time, there it is, clear as day, although extremely close, Angel is the winner. And all the way back to Rock Slide, who finishes last on the course. So, third place to Volcano, finishing uh, two tenths of a second behind. Again, 12 thousandths of a second for Black Shadow. Angel, though, is the one that they all aspire to be. As Angel takes the win, becomes our third different winner in three races of the inaugural season of Glass Car. A uh, very exciting, very close, very entertaining race, I would say. So congratulations to Angel, making their way uh, into the list of Glass Car winners for the first time. Glass Car takes the Moonscape Circuit as you have a look at our aerial view here. For race four of the first season of Glass Car 2020. Hello again, friends. Keanu Peterson, glad to be here with you as you have a look at our qualifying results. If you didn't have a chance to have a look at that video, there they are on the top left corner of your screen. Canarium won the pole. First pole for that marble starting first. That has not been a uh, good sign, though, for these marbles. You don't necessarily want to start first, but it'll be Canarium, Rock Slide, Rainforest, Pacifica, and Penguin were the top five. Our last winner, Angel, will start 10th. There, look at the championship standings. Rattlesnake leading Nitro by two points. Then one more point back to Volcano. Angel is fourth. Ivory is fifth. Wins for Rattlesnake, Nitro, and of course, Angel in the 12 thousandths of a second win last week at the Oval as you look at the infield. And the setup for our marbles getting ready for what should be another great race here at the Moonscape Circuit. First time we've been here and a very different look as you'll uh, see in the very beginning of this first race that self-propelling system takes a totally different look 19 laps in this one and we are underway Canarium will take them into the lead and immediately it is Rainforest who will take over that lead again hard time for these pole sitters wow look at that everybody making contact there and a lot of contact between the marbles what I was saying though is the pole sitters have had a really hard time even keeping the lead through the first turn it's Rainforest who started third in the lead. Right on their tail is Black Shadow. Penguin, Pacifica, and Rattlesnake. Canarium through the first lap has dropped all the way from pole position to seventh. Volcano, third in the point standings, but struggling. Last place right now. The lead is currently seven tenths of a second. Rainforest to Pacifica, who has taken over second. It's really close there. Look at all those marbles grouping together. Penguin now takes over second. Penguin jumps to the lead in front of Rainforest. And a larger lead now. Penguin trying to jump well in front. And if you can get some clean air before you go into that propelling system system, and then up on into the, uh, I guess, plexiglass uh, partition there, you can really gain some advantage on your lead there. Now Black Shadow's going to make a pass on Rainforest. Ivory and Volcano still occupying 11th and 12th. And it is Penguin and now Black Shadow. And the lead is over a second and a half. Penguin trying to continue that lead. They are one, two, three in a row as Rattlesnake battles with Pacifica and Black Shadow. It's Black Shadow in second. The lead still belongs to Penguin. And right now, Penguin has run the fastest lap, a 20.502, which was run on the second lap. We're now on lap five, and it's Rattlesnake who's taken the lead. Penguin had a lead of over a second and a half, and the last two marbles, you can see them coming there pretty well behind. But it's Rattlesnake in front of Penguin. Black Shadow and then Pacifica. And now Rattlesnake has run the fastest lap. In the lead right now. He said clean air could be important. Up and around they go. Oh, big contact there. I think that may have been Rock Slide. Lead is four tenths of a second right now. Rattlesnake back to Penguin. Canarium started on the pole, still running middle of the pack in seventh. Oh, look at the contact there between the two leaders, and it's going to be a pass again for Rattlesnake. He will take back over the lead, and now Pacifica makes a pass for third. Black Shadow drops to fourth. Rock Slide, first time we're calling their name, up into fifth place. 
Remember, 19 laps in this competition. And now Pacifica making a pass for second. Rattlesnake still holding the lead, and the lead is 8 tenths of a second. Should reach that area where we have a scoring system set up, and now look at the pass being made. Pacifica takes the lead and might lead this lap. Right on their tail is Rattlesnake. It's Pacifica across the line, and now here comes Penguin again. Nice move, and there will not be a lot of clean air that time. Penguin now takes the lead. Pacifica just ran the fastest lap. However, they have been passed back for the lead. Now they're going to make a pass again. They are three wide here. Penguin and Pacifica and Rattlesnake all battling. Meanwhile, Black Shadow going to try to make a move while that's happening. Ivory and Volcano still really, really struggling. Last week's winner, Angel, hanging in the back of the pack in ninth right now. Pacifica still leading. It's now four marbles going for the lead, and it is going to be Black Shadow and Penguin battling for the lead. Now the next two marbles, all the way back to sixth in Rainforest, trying to get in this matchup here. As we start to wind down on the laps, we're in lap number 11 of 19. Penguin trying to build a lead. They led by over a second and a half earlier in this race, trying to continue that. Top six trying to pull away. Canarium has moved all the way up to third. Now it's really the top three and then the next three. Before you slide off there, Canarium just ran the fastest lap now. The pole sitter, nobody's run a faster time. 24.01. And look at that, we might get a lap marble. Volcano really struggling. Well back. And that could get very interesting. Lead belongs to Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake will come across the line. Pretty close, but it's Penguin. That takes that lap in second place, but now Canarium retakes that lead. Canarium might have a chance at the lead. One, two, three in a row. Canarium now has the lead. Let's see if a move is made. It is going to be made by Penguin to take that lead back, and they are closing in on Volcano, who would become the first lapped marble in this race and could cause some issues. And oh no! Volcano, just as we were mentioning it, off the course! Missed the plexiglass partition and will finish in last, unable to get through the rest of this course, really struggling anyway. And so now you don't have to worry about, at least for the moment, a lap marble. That's a break for the leaders as they are all close here, officially now a DNF for Volcano. Penguin is in the lead, Canary of the Pole Sitter trying to end that stigma that the Pole Sitter cannot win. Canarium and Penguin still battling. Pacifica has dropped back a little bit here. We'll have another look at our replay, and let's see what happened. Yep, too much speed, shockingly, for the marble that's in last. All the way down to the lower portion of the course. Good thing that there wasn't a marble down there, otherwise could have been even more disaster rather than just for Volcano. Ivory had been hanging out in 11th, but they have now moved their way up to 8th. It's Dragon's Tail that's dropped all the way back. Angel struggling yet again, and Canarium still holding the lead. Pacifica trying to get back in this one. Pacifica actually now is closer to second than second is to first. Penguin starting to let this one slip away a little bit. Canarium, there's only a couple more laps left in this race. And if you don't hurry, Canarium might run away with it. And actually, just as I said that, here we go. Pacifica making a move. Going to try to retake the lead. For the moment, it is still Canarium. And they come to the line. Two laps to go. Canarium, Pacifica, Rattlesnake in third. Penguin and Rainforest are the top five. Pacifica takes the lead, jumps over where they hit the partition, makes a nice move. The top five are all in this thing. Nitro's in six, but not really a part of the competition in terms of qualifying or uh, competing for the win here. Final lap, here we go. Pacifica is the leader, Canarium battling. Here comes Rattlesnake. They come over the partition and it's Canarium who takes the lead. Now here comes Rattlesnake into second, being pushed by Pacifica, drafting up against that yellow marble. It's two yellows and a blue. Canarium retakes it, and Canarium's going to take the win. And they come across the line very close. It's Rattlesnake that's going to get second, third to Pacifica. Rainforest fourth, Penguin will take fifth. Nitro, Black Shadow, Rock Slide. Angel will end up ninth. Ivory is tenth. And finally, here comes 11th place Dragon's Tail, who almost got lapped on that final lap, nearly didn't finish the course. And of course, Volcano had that scary incident earlier, and so 
They are unable to finish and will take last place and be awarded the points that they get for that, which will be 25 points. You can see Rattlesnake was the biggest gainer, gained seven spots all the way up to second, but Canarium proves the stigma wrong. A Pulsator can win, does it with an overall time of 6 minutes and 46.1 seconds. And an impressive, definitely not leading for all the way, but they did a great job uh, to win from the pole. They'll move up to third, becoming uh, yet another winner in this competition. Rattlesnake is the points leader still. They are now up six points on Nitro. Canarium moves into third with a win here today and the pole. And we'll have a look at some of our highlights today. I mentioned how hard it's been for these pole sitters to get even into the first turn with the lead, and that was the case yet again. Although Canarium, as we know now, will come back to win the race, it was Rainforest who jumped out to the lead, and Canarium went from the lead all the way to seventh. Just out of that first turn, it was a really rough start. You can see there was a lot of contact between some of these marbles here. This was in lap four. And at this point in time, Penguin had gotten out to a pretty sizable lead. But there was some big runs, like that one right there. Rattlesnake had made a nice move. Some of the slow motion looks at that plexiglass. And you can tell the contact just looking at the course. Watch there, right there, when the marbles hit back down on the pavement. You can see some, some give there in the pavement, as there is certainly... And a lot of contact and a hard impacts for these marbles. Obviously, we're hoping the best for Volcano after a significant accident, which we'll see later on in these highlights. But uh, a lot of back and forth. Pacifica ran a nice race. Let's have a look at. Oh, I didn't even see that the first time through Dragon's Tail with a big mistake there. see a lot of that three three by three going through that specific area of the course one two three here's what we saw from volcano up and over and you see making contact right there and then entirely off the course hopefully everything's okay there canary and pacifica battling side by side going into the final lap and this is where the move was made canarium stayed lower on the course which is actually exactly what you wanted to do because you see Got that advantage coming out of that turn. And ultimately, that's what got the win for Canarium. Wins it by a little less than three-tenths of a second. Rattlesnake will take second. And Pacifica, who took the white flag in the lead, will finish in third. Fastest lap was a 24.01. Ran on lap 11. By your winner, Canarium, who picked up a lot of points. Got the pole. Got the fastest lap, and of course the win doesn't hurt either. An impressive day for Canarium, catapulting them back into uh, the, the championship talks, as it is a big day at Moonscape Circuit for Canarium and for a lot of these marbles. And then a The inaugural season of Glass Car here on Marble Cubica rolls on as we make our second stop here at City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. In our third circuit, and hopefully another exciting race on tap on the left side of your screen is the qualifying from earlier for this matchup. It'll have Dragon's Tail on the pole, Rock Slide, Canarium, Angel and Ivory, the top five. Hello again, friends. Keanu Bittersiki, glad to be here with you for the fifth race of this season in Glass Car 2020. We are back at the City Moonscape where we had a lot of issues with that plexiglass barrier earlier that has been adjusted a little bit here for this race as you see the championship standings on the screen rattlesnake is the points leader nitro canarium angel and volcano the top five dragon's tail is last in the point standings but first on the starting grid today and hopefully a chance to turn the tides for dragon's tail starting from the pole our last pole sitter was canarium who overcame the challenges of being the pole sitter that we've seen early in the season and ultimately ended up winning the race at the City Moonscape here in what was our fourth race, a different configuration. It is a 13 lap race. 
somewhere around 20 to 22 seconds will be the time per lap based on what we saw from qualifying and here we go let's see if dragon's tail can keep the lead into the first turn the answer is no once again it is a problem out of the gate for the pole sitter lots of contact between the marbles coming through dragon's tail is back in the lead now followed closely by ivory nitro canarium rock slide and rainforest those are the top six and it looks like they're all kind of separated there volcano keep an, uh, keep an eye on volcano nearly lapped on this course earlier uh, in our previous race before actually leaving the race due to an incident that ended their day early they've dropped back to 11th it's rattlesnake back in last right now and the lead belongs to dragon's tail and that's the fastest lap so far lap 2 21041 for dragon's tail the current fastest lap they're the leader over nitro ivory rainforest and canarium the top five and a pretty good sized lead at the moment as nitro trying to fend off ivory now going to try to gain some momentum and that lead is now another fastest lap dragon's tail runs a 21020 but here comes the rest of the field and dragon's tail now having to hold off some competitors ivory and rainforest are there volcano is yet again in last as Rattlesnake has made a pass there, Angel and Penguin hanging out in the back as well. And it is a three-way race right now before you get back to Canarium. Rainforest just made a pass for second, gonna try to make a pass for the lead. Right now it's two-tenths of a second, or was moments ago, between Ivory and Dragon's Tail. Now a close match, maybe some contact there. And into the lead goes Rainforest, who just ran its fastest lap, a 28.72 to take the lead we're almost halfway through this race already very quick pace you can see some of the marbles able to use that exit ramp for their satisfaction and for success but some have had a hard time with it rattlesnake having a hard time with everything rainforest just ran another fast lap a 27.71 however it is tight it's a four-way race and the new leader is rock slide followed by ivory dragon's tail and rainforest drops back to fourth after entering that area with the lead rock slide trying to gain the advantage now here comes ivory gonna make a pass for first they are close and now there's a few more marbles that are getting in there ivory takes the lead rainforest drops back into second rock slide now makes that pass back and ivory has a little bit of an advantage here and there is an incident with rock slide rock slide is off the course we'll have to have a look at the replay and see exactly what happened but rock slide holding second place i believe at the time let's have a look and see exactly what did happen as you can see rock slide is that first marble oh contact oh my that is a disaster with some contact with i believe that was nitro and rock slide will not finish this race it's a second straight race here at the city moonscape in which one at least one of the competitors will not finish and it was Dragon's Tail who made that contact with Rock Slide. And we're getting word that they are going to have an internal investigation on that, make sure there was no foul play there. Meanwhile, Dragon's Tail still competing for a win. Ivory is the leader. Pacifica has moved up to third. Rainforest is in fourth. Canarium holding strong in fifth. As Dragon's Tail had some contact that may have led or may have just been incidental with Rock Slide to uh, end up out of the race. Dragon's Tail coming up and they are going to put a punishment on Dragon's Tail a five second penalty a huge penalty and so Dragon's Tail competing for the lead but not really having a chance Rattlesnake is about to get lapped here and that would be the first marble in the history of Glass Car to get lapped remember Volcano was nearly lapped last time there's only two laps left so that may not end up happening it's Ivory in the lead. Pacifica has just passed for second. They're going to come up and over, and there is the lap, I believe. Yep, Ivory's going to make that pass. It is Pacifica in second. Pacifica trying to get around Rattlesnake, who's now kind of serving as, for a moment there, a pick for Ivory. As we've gone into the final lap, Ivory with the lead over Pacifica. Rainforest third. Dragon's Tail, remember, has a five-second penalty currently running in fourth. Here comes Pacifica trying to come through, making it close. Pacifica right up on the bumper of Ivory as they come around to the final couple turns. K-1 
Can Pacifica make the move through the last turn across the line? It is Ivory with the win. And it's gonna be a close finish. That was 12 thousandths of a second. It happened from a different angle. It was right on the bumper was Pacifica, who will take second. Rainforest is third. Dragon's Tail comes across the line fourth, but they are gonna have a five second penalty added to them. Canarium, Nitro, Angel, Penguin, Black Shadow, Volcano, and then Rattlesnake. And then of course, the DNF for Rockslide, who is having a very solid run. But unfortunately, some contact there causes some problems. Uh, Dragon's Tail will end up getting 7th place after the penalty is assessed. As you can see, Ivory, a big gainer for uh, Pacifica, who picks up 8 positions. Once again, Volcano, despite gaining 2 spots, really, really struggles, finishing in 10th and dropping back to 8th in the standings. As you have a look now at the updated standings, it is now a tie between Nitro and Rattlesnake atop the boards. Canaria moves to 3rd. Ivory is 4th now. And fifth is Pacifica in the standings as we have a look at our replay here and some of our highlights from this very fast paced and wild race. And again, issues coming out of the gate there for the uh, pole sitter, which has caused problems in the past and it did here. And you can see some marbles having success, others like right there, you saw Volcano and Penguin have a hard time even getting to the exit ramp, which caused some real issues for them, and they ended up toward the back. Volcano, uh, Rattlesnake, and Penguin consistently in the back of the pack for the majority of this race. You saw there was where Rockslide began to become a part of this competition. Dragon's Tail obviously didn't like it from what we're gonna see momentarily. And here it is. So you can see there's Rockslide in the front, Dragon's Tail's in the back. They both come down perfectly fine. Contact there between the two sends Rockslide over. And that determination was that although it seemed like there was a lot of momentum being gained, the determination clearly was that that was a inappropriate action being made by the pole sitter. And so that ends up costing five seconds on the finishing time of Dragon's Tail. Uh, obviously, that is going to be one that's going to be talked about. The decision was made, and uh, it's unfortunate for Dragon's Tail, obviously even more unfortunate for Rockslide, unable to finish this race, as you see the last couple of turns. I'll tell you what, Pacifica made a cha made a, a run at it, but ultimately a good job of staying in the line of sight by Ivory, and they came across the line. Not enough for Pacifica to make a move and have a chance at the win, so they will take second. They had the fastest lap, though. Lap number 13, it was the last lap, and it was the fastest lap of the race. It belonged to the runner-up Pacifica. Rainforest takes third, but they all wish they were Ivory right now. As Ivory gets the win and has now moved into fifth place in the championship standings. A very interesting race here at the City Moonscape for our fifth race of the season. Another marble that doesn't uh, isn't able to finish that due to maybe contact with the course, but maybe uh, slightly made... Uh, definitely more significant by the fact that there was contact with another competitor there. We saw our first marble get lapped, and that, by the way, is the points leader, Rattlesnake, who ends up... We are now into our sixth race of the first ever glass car season, and the championship contenders starting to make themselves known as you have a look at the Moonscape circuit. We're back on an oval here for the sixth race of the season, and I say hello again, friends. Keanu Bidiziki, glad to be here with you as you see the top left of your screen, the qualifying results from our qualifying session here for today's race. Nitro gets the pole, Rainforest, Ivory, Penguin, and Rattlesnake the top five as we are now into our sixth race of the season, and some of our marbles that are uh, really competing for this championship, making themselves known as, as well as the marbles towards the bottom of the standings that have really fallen off the pace here. It's over 20 points from first to last. As you have a look at the championship standings on your screen now, Rattlesnake and Nitro come in tied at 164 points. Three points back to Canarium, who won from the pole last week. Ivory is in fourth, and Pacifica fifth. Rainforest just one more point behind at 158 points. So just six points behind the points leaders as you have a look at our crew chiefs all on the sidelines, all wearing their face masks here covering 
and uh, helping to protect each other uh, to allow us to have this glass car season here in 2020. There are the team trailers that have been set up here at the Moonscape Circuit for a while here. It is a 44 lap race. Nitro is going to take us to the green and we are underway. Into turns one and two they will go and immediately Nitro loses the lead that is Penguin. As you see the top left of your screen shows the standings. Penguin in the lead, Canarium, Nitro, Rainforest and Ivory as we're one lap through. Like we said 44 laps in this race it's going to be a quick one. As you can see that ramp which will cause almost looks like one of those jumping water fountains that you see. As you'll see that continue to happen on the back side of your screen. But right now it's Penguin in the lead by almost a full second over Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, Volcano moving up to fifth. Pacifica ran the slowest lap for what it's worth in qualifying. Currently running in last. Volcano's dropped all the way back to ninth now. Penguin still in the lead followed by Nitro. Canarium, Rainforest, or excuse me, Dragon's Tail then Rainforest. That was the fastest lap so far. It belongs to the leader Penguin. You can see Penguin really not being challenged early on. Pacific is still running in last. Canarium holding off Nitro for the moment. That lead is now over a second. There are the leaders coming through. Four back across the start finish line in case you lost them there for a second. Lots of marbles going all different places. Love that view along the front straightaway there. As you can see some of the marbles making moves. Penguin's still the leader. Dragon's Tail has started to move up now into third place. Nitro still running in fourth. There they are, and now Dragon's Tail makes the pass for second. It's a 1.3 second lead for Penguin over Dragon's Tail in second. Canarium has dropped to third. Nitro's in fourth. Volcano back up to fifth. And now Dragon's Tail's going to make a pass on Penguin for the lead. How about that? They get a lot closer now. Going up the ramp and through now turns three and four, and it is a race again. Penguin... And Dragon's Tail, Canarium has now made that pass. And they're getting really tight. Look at all these marbles coming across the ramp at the same time. And everybody's in it again. All the way back to, it seems, Pacifica's the last one there. The last two marbles, uh, Rattlesnake and Angel, are kind of far behind. Lead back up to a half a second now between Penguin and now second place Canarium. Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, Volcano, the top five. They continue to run very close. And it's really close there between third and fourth. Black Shadow now up to third. Best running spot of the day. Pacifica has dropped back to 12th now. Everybody a little bit closer here. So we are 20 laps in now to a 44 lap race. But again, these laps go so quickly. We ran fastest lap of the race, a 6.7 second lap. Penguin still the leader, has led the majority of this race. Did not win the pole though. That was uh, Nitro who's now running in 11th really fallen back. Nitro going to move up to ninth, passing Ivory and Angel. It's still Pacifica in last, and it's still Penguin in the lead. Rainforest now move, now runs in second. Black Shadows drop back to third. Rattlesnake and Canarium are fourth and fifth. Two tenths of a second is the lead. Maybe a move there for Dragon's Tail being pushed by Canarium through three and four. It is still Penguin in the lead. Dragon's Tail second. Black Shadow going to try to make a move for second place. They're going to go tight across the start finish line. Still Dragon's Tail in the lead. Dragon's Tail going to make a move now. Try to get the pass on Penguin. Not going to happen there. And that lead will now uh, become a little larger as Penguin got a run after some contact, I think. Looked like they may have made a little bit of contact there. It's been a pretty clean race here. And it's been a pretty dominant race, frankly, for Penguin. Still in the lead over Black Shadow, Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, and Canarium. Angel, who had been running in last for a lot of the races, moved up to 7th now. And Pacifica continues to run towards the back of the pack. The lead is 3 tenths of a second. It is close for 2nd and 3rd, maybe some more contact. Black Shadow's in 2nd. Coming around, turn 4, back across the start, finish again. And it is Black Shadow. Now Rainforest takes over 3rd. 4th and 5th, Dragon's Tail Volcano are all in it. Top 5 are in this one. But right now, Penguin starting to lengthen that lead out once again. It's a pretty big lead, actually, right now. And now it's starting to be shortened once again. Angel all the way up to fourth. What a run after starting way in the back. But the lead is 1.6 seconds. Penguin looked like it was a little slow there, bouncing off the walls this way and that. But the lead still belongs to that marble. 
Penguin in a pretty significant power position right now. Black Shadow and Rainforest battling for second. We're running out of laps. We're on lap 38 now. We're about to be on 38 as they'll come through turns three and four and send us to lap 38. Not many left in this 44 lap race and it is Penguin by a pretty wide margin over Black Shadow and Rainforest. Rainforest trying to make a pass for second and maybe give something to Penguin at the end of this race. But we enter lap 40 now and the lead still at points is a whole entire straightaway. Seven tenths of a second for Penguin over Black Shadow. Dragon's Tail's made the move back to third. Rainforest fourth. Ivory has moved into fourth now passing Rainforest. The top five again kind of separated from before you get to Canarium in sixth. Then Angel, Volcano, Rock, uh, Rattlesnake, Rockslide, Pacifica, and Nitro. Only two laps to go. Penguin trying to take that final spot there. We go. It is the final lap of this race. Penguin in a pretty big lead, and it's going to be a dominant win for Penguin. Dragon's Tail in second. There's the win. Penguin gets it. Dragon's Tail in second. Black Shadow, Canarium, Ivory, Angel, Rainforest, Rattlesnake, Volcano, Pacifica, Nitro, the Pole Sitter, finishes 11th, and Rockslide, seven seconds back, will finish in 12th. What a race and a dominant win for Penguin. Holy cow, that was a great effort. And you can see Penguin now gains three positions overall from where they started the race. Dragon's Tail in second, Black Shadow third, Canarium fourth, Ivory fifth. Biggest gainer was uh, Canarium. Picks up five spots, obviously negative ten. Biggest loser ends up being Nitro. And it is Canarium that now moves into the lead for the championship by one point over Rattlesnake. One more point back to Ivory, then Nitro and Rainforest, the top five, as we have a look at the replay here. And this one had a lot going on from the very beginning, and Penguin led it from the first corner. As you see there through turns one and two, great job of just cutting off the pole sitter there, Nitro. And Nitro ended up in third. And it was Penguin from the start. And you can see some of the very impressive looks going up that ramp and then making contact again with the course. A lot of, uh, you can see some contact there between what looked like Pacifica and Canarium. It was a very well run race and a, a perfectly executed run by Penguin who starts out this race in fourth. Ends up in the lead by the end of the first corner and really never looked back. It was a rare occurrence where Penguin wasn't leading. Here was one of them where Penguin had to retake the lead on lap 14 over uh, Dragon's Tail, who was there. You had Rainforest was in the mix for a while, but nobody could really get back to Penguin. It was a pretty dominant win uh, and just uh, a showing of, uh, I don't know if it's knowing the course better or having just a better luck or uh, honestly, just looked like better prepared for the day from Penguin. A lot of passing, but most of it happened back in the pack. You saw Pacifica hung out in the back for the most part. Nitro went back and forth, ends up finishing in 11th. Ivory was in the middle of the pack for the majority of the time. Angel was at the bottom and then moved all the way up for a moment up to, I believe it was fourth, was the highest running position there. A lot of back and forth, but not a lot of lead changes. Uh, as Penguin leads it just about as close to start to finish as you can get from the first quarter on with very slight changes, including running the fastest lap. That was lap 42, was the fastest lap of 6702. Third place is Black Shadow on the podium. Runner up is Dragon's Tail, came in as the last place runner in the standings. So a big gain there for Dragon's Tail. But of course, they're all aspiring to be Penguin after today's race here at the Moonscape Circuit on the second oval course we have run for Glass Car, a very different oval course, uh, but it still results in a lot of passing. However, this time, instead of a close finish from the leaders, it was close finishes later in the pack because Penguin was the marble to beat from the get-go, and it just did not happen. An easy win by over a second, 1.7 seconds back to first, and then from there, it was eight tenths of a second back to third place, Black Shadow, so a very dominant... As the 2020 glass car season progresses into now our seventh race, it brings us to perhaps the most unique track that's on the course, or at least the most unique we've seen so far. That is 
the first circuit of the Sacred Hill City Grand Prix. If you look at the qualifying results on the left side of your screen, Dragon's Tail will be your pole sitter, followed by Nitro, Rattlesnake, Rainforest, and Penguin, the top five, all the way down to Canarium and Volcano, who both finished over two seconds off the pace. And with that, we welcome you to today's race. Glad to be here with your friends. I'm Keanu Benedicki as we continue into our seventh race now of the 2020 glass car season. As I said, very interesting course, which is going to go from lower on the course there up to the top and then through a zigzag portion of the course, which is there in the black with the red and white stripes. There is a chicane, a couple of chicanes actually in the middle of this course, which will force our uh, drivers to make a decision on where they want to go. Championship standings on your screen right now. One point lead between Canarium and Rattlesnake Ivory, Nitro, and Rainforest are the top five. So it'll be interesting to see and a good idea to keep an eye on all five of those drivers in addition to those who are in the lead and up toward the front, whether they are at the top of our championship standings or not. It's a 19 lap race. And with that, we are ready to go. They are underway as the green is displayed on the top of the starting post. And almost as always, it looked like for a second there, Dragon's Tail was going to have a hard time keeping the lead. That's not the case, though. Now, oh, up and over a couple of different collisions there as they will kind of settle out there. It is Rattlesnake right on the tail of Dragon's Tail, followed by Canarium. The one, two, three are right there. Angel is in fourth. Penguin rounds out the top five. Tried to make a move, did Canarium. Did not work. Went to the inside and will remain in third place and a pass for the lead. Rattlesnake and now Canarium both going to go by Dragon's Tail, who has a hard time with that chicane and getting out of the zigzag portion of the course. And the lead is 1.6 seconds now between Rattlesnake and Canarium. All the way back now to Ivory and Volcano. Again, Volcano struggling. And now... It is a battle for second and back from there as Nitro going to make a pass for fourth on Angel. Trying to come up on Canarium and Dragon's Tail. Canarium still in second. And the lead as now Dragon's Tail is going to take second. Canarium drops back to third. It is still a lead of over a corner right now. Pretty good size advantage for the leader as you can see coming through, although it was a nice turn there, coming out of the chicane for Dragon's Tail, trying to gain some ground on Rattlesnake, followed by Canarium, Nitro, and Angel. Lead is down to seven tenths of a second, and Canarium being pushed by Nitro now. It is tight there. Volcano has made up some spots. And making up some ground. Oh, over the chicane, it looked like went Nitro. As we have a battle now for the lead. Rattlesnake still in the lead. Here comes Nitro with a little contact to Dragon's Tail. It is close as they cross the start finish line. Entering lap six here. It is still a lead for Rattlesnake over Dragon's Tail. Dragon's Tail makes contact and makes the lead. Makes the pass to take the lead. Here comes Nitro and Rainforest are in third and fourth as Rainforest moves up the leaderboard. Ivory continues to struggle. Top five in the standings, 12th on the track right now. As Dragon's Tail just ran the fastest lap of this race, a 22.871 to take the lead, but look at the pressure being put on and the lead goes back to Rattlesnake. It is now third place for Rock Slide, who's made some moves. Pacifica has dropped back to last. Rattlesnake, who has been in the lead for a good portion, is still in the lead right now. It is really tight, though, between first and second. And right here is where there have been passes made. Not this time, though. Going to continue to lead will be Rattlesnake. Nitro going to make a pass. Was in fifth. Gets up to third as Dragon's Tail now takes the lead back. Nitro, Rock Slide, and Rainforest. Canarium, Angel all in it. Back to Penguin, Rattles, uh, excuse me, Penguin, Black Shadow, Volcano, Ivory, and Pacifica. Dragon's Tail is... Gotten out to a lead of almost a second. Just over nine tenths of a second. Nitro going to make a pass to get right back into third again. And everybody back to Penguin is right there with each other. They are spreading out just a little bit. Not necessarily banging each other through every corner like you might have seen in previous races. You can see it's a pretty big lead between those first two. 
it is still Dragon's Tail in the lead, and another pass is made. This time it's Rainforest getting past Nitro for a moment. And yep, still in front of Nitro as they make some contact. Rockslide and Angel making contact. That now was the fastest lap of the race. Dragon's Tail at 21.942. On the 10th lap, it's the fastest lap, and when you're in the lead, you love to get the fastest lap. It'll allow you to continue to uh, extend your lead. Nitro has been making moves all over the place. Kind of going back and forth, but able to make some passes. Pass multiple marbles at a time. Right now running in fourth. It is still Dragon's Tail. Rainforest is now taking over second. Side by side with Rattlesnake, who retakes second place for a moment. But when you are facing another marble going side by side and you're not in first and second, it allows that lead marble to extend their lead. It's now two and a half seconds from Dragon's Tail back to Rainforest, who currently runs in second. Has gotten away a little bit from Rattlesnake as we are now into lap 13 and maybe Rainforest. Top five in the standings can make a run at Dragon's Tail. 11th in the point standings is Dragon's Tail trying to pick up a win and what a huge win it would be. As this is another pass, Rattlesnake retakes second. And we'll again try to focus in on that lead marble. It's a little shorter now, it was two and a half seconds. It's down to nine tenths of a second. Not much in the back of the pack. Once you get past eight, it's been pretty steady. Volcano has, has uh, passed Black Shadow for nine. But then Black Shadow, Ivory, and Pacifica all running in the back of the pack here. It's a pretty significant uh, disadvantage for them. It's getting closer at the top of the leaderboard. It is still Dragon's Tail in the lead as we enter lap 15 now. Five to go. Rattlesnake trying to do something. Might get a lap marble there, as you can see at the outset of going over the portion of the course where you have the self-propelling system. You can see Pacifica in view there. Dragon's Tail in the lead. Rainforest has retaken second place. Rainforest has a run. Rainforest going to make a pass for the lead. How about that move from Rainforest? And now here comes Dragon's Tail trying to take that lead back. They are tight. It is Dragon's Tail back in front. Nitro is going to take third away from Rattlesnake. A couple of great moves there. And the lead back up to seven tenths of a second. Was that the run that had a chance to take out Dragon's Tail? We're on lap 17 now. Just three to go. A couple of really good runs there. One from Rainforest to take the lead. And then that good decision made. And now... It is going to be a good use of the chicane. Rainforest takes the lead, trying to stretch it out. After all of that leading, we are going to go down to two to go, and it's going to be Rainforest who will take that move. Two laps left. Rainforest is the leader. And by over a second, 1.2 back to the leader, or the former leader, Dragon's Tail. Here comes a chance to maybe pass Pacifica, who could potentially cause a problem. They're going to wave the blue flag there. Tell Pacifica to make sure to get out of the way. That's not the case, though. Pacifica staying right in front of the leaders. Oh, my goodness. Pacifica throws a block, and we go into the final lap, and it's going to come right down to it. Some contact goes between Dragon's Tail and Rainforest. They get by Pacifica. Dragon's Tail retakes the lead out of the chicane. Now you've got to advance and avoid Ivory. They are going to make more contact. Dragon's Tail is going to go into the final turn with the lead around the corner and across the line. It is Dragon's Tail that gets the win. Back to Rainforest second. Rattlesnake will take third. Wow, what a wild finish. As the lap cars, or about to be lap marbles, cause some issues. Nitro will finish fourth. Give fifth to Angel, Rock Slide, Penguin, and Canarium. Then Black Shadow, who repassed Volcano, who will end up 10th. Ivory is 11th, and a full 26 seconds behind is Pacifica, who will finish 12th. The winner is Dragon's Tail. What a run! A pretty dominant effort. Led the majority of the race. It was really between the top three. Dragon's Tail, Rainforest, and Rattlesnake, they were the ones who really led laps. Nitro continued to make good moves, but could never really get up there to have a chance to win it. So Dragon's Tail wins from the pole. Second time we've seen that now. Canarium did it as well. Biggest gainer was Rock Slide. Gained four positions overall. There were three that lost three. That was Black Shadow, Ivory, and Pacifica all lost three spots during the race. Fastest lap was lap 10 by Dragon's Tail, a 21 942, winning it by 
1.4 seconds. And the updated championship standings, Rattlesnake is still the leader, or is the leader again, I should say. By four points, it's a three-way tie between Nitro, Canarium, and Rainforest. And then Angel and Ivory in fifth and sixth. Dragon's Tail moves all the way up to seventh. Penguin is eighth. And on back from there, as we will have our finale to the season next week, and the championship is far from over. Here are some of the highlights. You saw Dragon's Tail. You knew it could be a good day for Dragon's Tail when you get out of turn one, or even, for that matter, into turn one with the lead as the pole sitter. Able to use the chicane. Chicane became a very uh, big part of this course. You can see here on lap five, there was some contact between Rattlesnake, who had taken the lead, and Dragon's Tail, and that's where you see Nitro get in on the action. This was a race that had a lot of touching, not a lot of, there was not really any dirty moves. That was where the main action came into that zigzag portion of the course, where the course turned from the normal gray to that black color. That was maybe the biggest contact of this race, racing for second between Rainforest and Rattlesnake. And they continued to battle for the majority of this race. Dragon's Tail had built a lead over two seconds at one point. But as we've seen throughout these races here, that is not always going to result in a continued dominant run. There have been a lot of large leads that have been cut very quickly. And you saw right there, going into the final lap, there was issues with Pacifica going into lap 19 and coming all the way through the lap. It actually, I think, cost the opportunity for a win for Rainforest. And so that's something that has to be taken into account. The blue flag was waved, which I believe meant that they were supposed to surrender their position. That didn't happen. And it ultimately provided an open door for Dragon's Tail, who led the majority of the race to make that last lap pass on Rainforest, who will finish second. An entire season will come down to one final race. Seven races, seven winners, and realistically, four up to maybe six of our, of our contenders will have an opportunity to win the championship as we welcome you to the final race of the 2020 glass car season. I'm Keanu Bidusicki, glad to be here with you as we will crown a champion at the end of today. On the left side of your screen, you see your qualifying results. And you'll notice the third place qualifier for today's race is Rattlesnake. They are the championship points leader at this point in time, holding a four point lead over a trio of contenders. Ultimately, there are six marbles that are within single digits of the lead right now in the championship standing. So really, it is truly anybody's championship, but it is Rattlesnakes to lose at this point with one more race to go here at the Sacred Hills Grand Prix. And there are the standings. A four point lead for Rattlesnake. It's Canarium, Nitro, and Rainforest. Angel and Ivory all within uh, single digits of Rattlesnake, but really it's gonna be between most likely Rattlesnake, Canarium, Nitro, and Rainforest. As we are just about ready to go, it is a 19 lap race, which will determine a winner. And after all season, it comes down to this. We are underway in the final race of the 2020 glass car season. And right off the bat, it is Rattlesnake that takes the lead. Points leader and has to be the championship favorite is in the lead right out of the gate. Nitro runs in second currently. One of those three marbles that are tied for second place. Rainforest is another and right now Rainforest runs in fourth. Canarium got off to a bad start running in tenth. One lap down and it is a little bit of a lead now for Rattlesnake. Nitro and Rainforest battling for second. It's a 1.2 second lead for Rattlesnake back to Rainforest. He has now taken that lead, and now Dragon's Tail jumps up into second. Penguin and Rock Slide, and it's Rainforest who's in fifth now. Angels moved up to fourth. All the way back in tenth is Canarium, and as it has been for a lot of time this year, Volcano and Ivory, mostly Volcano, making up the bottom of the standings currently. Rattlesnake is still your leader over Rainforest, Dragon's Tail, Rock Slide, and Angel. Canarium really having a hard time in a race that 
they need to perform well in. Same can be said for Nitro, who's running in eighth. 1.8 seconds is the lead. If Rattlesnake wins, it doesn't matter where you finish. And right now it is Rattlesnake who is in that lead. And there has been no movement from Rattlesnake who has led this entire race so far. And they are lining up behind that yellow and black marble. Right now it's Rock Slide in second and so far the fastest lap that's been run was Rattlesnake on lap 2, ran a 23.971. So far nobody's beaten that, but Rainforest just took the lead. And now things might get interesting. Rainforest leading Rattlesnake, who's now battling with Rock Slide and Penguin. And if you can get Rattlesnake to fall a little bit, it gets interesting. Rattlesnake drops back to third, and now Rainforest just ran the fastest lap. They're battling for second and third between Rattlesnake and Rockslide. It's three R's at the top of the leaderboard. Rainforest, Rattlesnake, and Rockslide as they run currently. And now Rockslide jumps to the lead. Rattlesnake makes a pass on Rainforest, who drops back to third. Canarium is running in 11th. Out of it at this point. Same can be said for Nitro, so it's really now between Rattlesnake and Rainforest. They run second and third. Rock Slide spoiling the party right now. Rainforest says, I need to be in front of you. Right on his tail right now is Rattlesnake. Dragon's Tail is running in fourth, and then Penguin, who just actually dropped back a couple spots. Rainforest retakes the lead, and now a pass made again by Rock Slide to take that lead back. They're side by side going out of turn one. And into two up through that self-propelling system. Rock Slide holds the lead. Rainforest is in second. Rattlesnake is in third. A win would do wonders for Rainforest. But Rainforest is now going to drop back and in a hurry drops all the way to sixth. Now Nitro becomes the highest running competitor for the championship along with Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake is dropped back to third. Nitro runs in fourth. It is still Rockslide and now Black Shadow takes the lead on a pass there. Rockslide retakes that lead and Rattlesnake makes a pass for second. Right now none of the Three that were tied for second, four points back of Rattlesnake. They are running. That's Nitro, who's in fifth. Rainforest, who was briefly the leader, just passed Nitro for fifth. So now Nitro's running in seventh. They've made some moves back and forth. And Canarium basically, basically out of it at this point, running in 11th. It's a 1.2 second lead for Black Shadow, who's the current leader over Rock Slide. Canarium. As we said, basically out of it at this point, as is Ivory and Pacifica and Volcano, yet again. And a tough battle continues. You almost feel like Rainforest missed their opportunity there. We're on the lap 11 of 19. The fastest lap was just run, by the way. That was Black Shadow, who's the current leader. And it is Nitro that makes that pass for second place. Angel puts some distance between Nitro and the points leader Rattlesnake. Now if Nitro can get up to Black Shadow, things could get interesting, but it's a pretty significant lead right now. 2.1 seconds. And it's now Angel who's made that pass for second. Rattlesnake has dropped to fourth. Rattlesnake now makes a pass on Rock Slide for third. And Nitro has dropped all the way back to sixth. Just when you think you have a chance to make things interesting, it is a mistake made by one of those three marbles, but really just two. Rainforest earlier, now Nitro making a mistake there. It's a one and a half second lead back to Angel from Black Shadow. Angel, of course, had the miraculous win at the Oval by 12 thousandths of a second way back when. Now running in second. Rattlesnake is third. Rainforest has made their way back up to fourth, and a pass has made. Rattlesnake now takes over second place. Running out of laps to make up time is everybody else. And Angel makes a pass for the lead. Black Shadow drops to second. Rattlesnake is now going to be passed by Rainforest for third. Nitro is in fifth. And it's a seven-tenths of a second lead for Angel, who's, make, who's made the pass, as we're now on lap 15. Five laps to go. Angel in the lead. And it's a battle between Rainforest and Rattlesnake. Rainforest really not only has to finish ahead of Rattlesnake, but needs some help as well. Rattlesnake is right on the tail of Black Shadow. 
And now it's close between Nitro and Rainforest for fourth. Meanwhile, it's not close up at the front. Two and a half second lead built by Angel. Can you maintain that? That's the question as the laps begin to dwindle down. These laps, though, take some time, so there's still a chance. Rattlesnake has made a pass for second. That really hurts. Rainforest is going to go by Black Shadow as well. Rockslide moves back into this competition now, but the lead is stretched to nearly five seconds. Unbelievable show by Angel here in these closing laps. Rattlesnake might run a second place and ride that to a win in the championship, and that's all that really matters. It would be impressive for Angel as the laps are really dwindling down. Three and a half second lead. There's only two laps left. Rattlesnake runs in second. Angel is the leader by a significant margin. Rainforest is in third. Black Shadow fourth. Rock Slide rounds out those top five. And now a pass made by Black Shadow for third. We're on the final lap. And a championship is going to be handed to Rattlesnake when they finish this lap. It's going to be a win for Angel, almost certainly. The lead is over five and a half seconds. There is the leader. Going to finish off what's going to be a pretty dominant end to this race. Going to try to pass Canarium. Let's see if there's a lap involved. Canarium is close to being lapped and might be lapped. Will not quite be lapped, though. Angel going to get the win here in the final race of the season. Coming across the line in second is Black Shadow. Rattlesnake crosses the line, and that'll be enough to win a championship. Rockslide finishes fourth, Penguin fifth, and Rainforest, Nitro, and Dragon's Tail. Ivory ends up ninth. Pacifica, who started on the pole, will be tenth. Volcano made one pass for 11th, and ultimately a very disappointing end of the season for Canarium, who will finish 25, nearly 26 seconds behind Angel. And what is a very disappointing end, and there are the standings after this race. You can see Angel won it by 5.772 seconds, and then almost another full second back to third place. An incredibly impressive finish. The fastest lap, by the way, was run on lap 10 by Black Shadow. That's still the case. And Rattlesnake will hold on to win it. There are the final standings. Despite two wins this year, Angel comes up two points short. What an effort. Rattlesnake with 261 points is your 2020 Glass Car Champion. Finishing on the podium five times, winning one race, and ultimately being the most consistent, Angel will end up the second place finisher. And that shows you how inconsistent Angel was. Finishes second, despite winning more races than anybody else. The only marble to win two races as we have a look at our highlights here. And it was Rattlesnake at the beginning. Ran an impressive race. Got out of that first turn in the lead as you saw some chaos there. Right off the bat, this was some contact early between Nitro and Rainforest. A nice pass made there on lap six by Rattlesnake on Rock Slide. And then later on in lap six, a really smooth move by Rock Slide to go from third to first. Some impressive passes on this course, including that one right there. Another one by Rock Slide back on lap nine. This was the point in the race in which Black Shadow was the leader. You can see Nitro trying to make contact with Marbles and do whatever they could to pick up speed in a desperate effort to pass Rattlesnake and then gain some separation. But it was not to be, and that was the pass that ended up being the winner as Angel made the pass on lap 14 and stretched the lead out to over, 50, uh, over 5 seconds, nearly 6. Third place for Rattlesnake, second place for Black Shadow, first place for Angel. Normally we say they all aspire to be Angel, but rather they're certainly aspiring to be Rattlesnake today. A championship in the bag for Rattlesnake. A huge congratulations to them. Angel gets the win and the distinction of being the first uh, glass car marble driver to win multiple races, but the first ever season of glass car ends up as a championship for Rattlesnake. Thanks for watching. This has been Glass Car on Marble Fubica.